Hi, my name is Joe. In this video, we are going to talk about how to set up a wireless network in the middle of nowhere. There's no power, no network for IP camera system. We'll use the wireless bridge, also the solar panel system. In the demonstration, we just use one camera. If you have multiple camera, you can watch my another video how to connect multiple camera to a wireless bridge. First, let's move to the whiteboard and see the typical application we are doing with NAT. If you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe. This is a very typical case. We have fun on the one side of the river. There's no power, also no network. Now we need to set up the IP camera to watch the fun. And the MVR, the network video recorder, will stay in the house. The river just separates the fun and the house. We cannot wire the cable from the house to the fun directory. Remember the last video we talked about we can use the wireless bridge because there are no tree and wall blocking the transmitting and receiving, so the wireless bridge will be a perfect choice. But now, in this case, there are no power, so the solar panel system must be involved. Okay, now let's just move to the workshop and see what equipment we need to set up this system. Here's the whole system set up. We got the wireless bridge and the solar panel system. I've put the link of this item in the description. You can check the link for the specification. Let's just go to see the wireless bridge. This is the receiver. Wireless bridge usually working in pair. One is the receiver, another is transmitter. So the key to use the wireless bridge is there's no tree or wall to blocking the transmitting and receiving. From the receiver, we are connecting to a router. So all the video just come from the transmitter, right at the receiver, and reach to the router. And the recorder also reach to the router. Now let's move to the Camera end, this is the transmitter. And it also, as we mentioned, there's no power and no network, right? The wireless bridge just handle the network issue. And now it's about the power. This is the solar panel system. Let's start from the solar controller. Actually, this is just charger, like the charger we're using for the mobile phone. But yes, it's different because it's taking the power from the solar panel, not the AC power outlet. This is the solar panel. The solar panel will observe the sun and convert the energy and charge into this battery. You can see the energy just arrive at this solar panel and the controller, the charger will make sure the charging process is moving smoothly. And meanwhile, this battery also will supply the power to this transmitter and the camera. Of course, it needs to go through this controller. It doesn't come from the battery to the this device directory. So the one thing always comes confusing people. They think there's no need for battery, just connect this solar panel to this device directory. It will not work. It also may damage your device. The thing is because the voltage is incorrect. When we charge the battery, the voltage needs to be a little bit higher than the voltage we are using in the battery. Otherwise, you cannot charge any energy in save any energy to this battery. So just remember you need to have the controller, solar panel, and the battery. The key is that correct solar panel and the battery. You know after sunset, there's no power saved to the battery, but this device, the camera and wireless bridge, still will draw in the power from the battery. This is the infrared camera. So when the infrared is on, it will need more power from the battery. So if the battery is not large enough, you will face the blackout sometimes. Also, we're not supposed to have the sun swipe every day. If there's keep raining and the solar panel is not large enough, you also may face the blackout because we don't have enough bat power saving to the battery. My recommendation for one camera, one wireless bridge, is just about 200 watt solar panel and the 80 ampere hour battery. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please leave a comment section below. See you next time.